Hello everybody and welcome back to my let's play of Aurora 4X. I of course am Sir Bidian, and today we're going to be continuing on. Now, um, I did record an, an entire episode and unfortunately I uh, left the resolution settings for um, Cataclysm, which means that you get to see here to here. Um, so... Thankfully, nothing too important happened um, during that. Um, we did drop boys in Adelaide, the Newcastle jump points, and we did also drop boys in Sydney jump points. Um, I finished survey surveying Broken Hill, which should be down here. I'm going to say for some reason. There we go. Um, we also got a little bit more exploration done, but we didn't find anything of too important. Um, we did find a research facility on Newcastle, which we're going to ship to... I don't know, Earth, I guess. Um, yeah, because there's nowhere else really at the moment. Uh, research lab. There we go. Um, but overall, um, yeah, nothing of serious importance has really happened. Um, we found a better... Um, um, we found the better energy weapons guy, so I guess that's that. Woo! Um, so yeah, we'll just continue on. Honestly, you, you really didn't miss anything very, very exciting at all. Nothing happened. Unfortunately, that's one of the um, I, w I wouldn't call the problems because it's part of the game, um, but it does make it a little bit more difficult with for making videos for others to watch because a lot of Aurora does tend to be not exciting is probably uh, the most accurate terms. Uh, an automated mine on Newcastle, eh? cool. Um, so yeah, that's just something that you got to deal with when watching a Let's Play of Aurora. But yeah, we'll just grind through and wait until something exciting does actually happen. I'm uh, just going to make sure that it is actually... Yeah, cool. With my luck, it would have stopped recording and then I spend another half hour talking to myself. <clears throat> so once we get a far ultraviolet, the plan is that we get a far ultraviolet, then we bang out the magnetic confinement reactor. After we get the reactor out, um, we'll salvage those engines and hopefully we'll get the tech, the RP from uh, the earlier uh, technology that we found and they'll be allocated. Uh, and once that happens, what's Robert Aiken doing? Oh, right. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so once we get the ultraviolet, we'll get the magnetic confinement reactor. Once we get the reactor, we'll, start, we'll uh, disassemble those engines for the tech. Hopefully, we'll get the research points that we got earlier for that technology, and we should be able to get the engine technology out very, very quick. Um, once we get the engine technology out, uh, well, we won't get the compressed carbon armor, but once we get the engine technology out, we will go ahead and uh, rebuild our fleets. And I think I might rebuild them from scratch instead of upgrading from previous designs um, and just get uh, some more highly optimized uh, designs. Plus, we're getting too many numbers on our ships. We've also changed our theme to House Steiner, so... Uh, we should get um, some new ship names as well, which should hopefully a little be a little bit more interesting. Um, you'll notice that our Empire theme change to the Steiner has also changed some of the um, system names from Australian themed to, well, House Steiner themed. What is Robert Aiken complaining about? Jeez, where, okay, what is it? Okay. Where are you? 
OK, gravity survey, please. Um, another automated mine, cool. Yeah, oh, fleet base will be done in May. So we're only a few months away from that. Then we can uh, stop draining all of our galaxite. So yeah, that, that's the plan. So ultraviolet laser, mag, mag fusion engine, um, new ship design. Or brand new technology for ships. <clears throat> Do we have any civilians actually going over there yet? No, not yet. If our if our server if our established team is done uh, before they get there, oh, it looks like it is done. Okay, we'll send them home and we'll get them to drop those off. Um. And we might get them to make a run on Newcastle and just load up on all those uh, facilities themselves. Um, the facility is 250,000 tons, so it'll take them like a few runs, but it's fine. All right, gravitational survey of Darwin is complete, which is there. Um, we're going to turn around and we're going to head out to Southport and we're going to send them out that way. Sick. All right. Um, so we'll send them out Townsville Way and yeah, use up half of these things. I might send them back home first. We need to want to go out um, Sydney Way as well, anyway. So if you'll resupply overhaul. Well, there's a sorium uh, shortage for fuel production in cans. <laughs> uh, I told you I would complain. In cans A5. Um, the production is 6. The consumption is going to be substantially higher. So we will just shut down these refineries. Uh, they're no use to us anyway. Uh, Newcastle is still complaining about the lab. Nothing we can do about that right now. George should be on his way home. Yeah, he's on his way home, so that's fine. And... Oh, that's on the George, so he'll sort himself out once he gets home. I got boronide and beyond repair. Oh well. Okay. Another research facility in Newcastle A. Well, isn't that nice? So we've got two extra labs here. Perfect. Uh, actually, if we shut down research, that might help in telling it, in complaining. Um, 
I'll just cancel that. There's no point. How is Salvage Fleet doing? Okay, that's still a few days out. Okay, still waiting on things. Okay, we're still a few months out. I'm almost tempted to use a 30 day tick. Bugger it, let's use a 30 day cycle. Nobody's doing anything that important anyway. Okay, what do we get? Um, abandoned mine, a commercial spaceport, and railgun. Railgun can be useful because we don't actually have anything. Unfortunately, it seems to be all base tech level railgun, so it's probably more worthless than anything else. Um, Newcastle doesn't have many people, so we probably... Um, is that the right one? Yeah. We got a commercial spaceport in the mine. Yep, so level one spaceport. And a mine. But yeah, we got a population, so that won't work anyway. Um, how are we doing on tech? Almost there, 21st of March. Uh, this one want to run five days so we don't get to, uh, too much over loss of research points. Come on. Okay something interesting. Uh, so we're going to ban the genetic modifications into a Newcastle i3. That could be useful later on. Um, but safe greenhouse gas to Canberra Prime is complete. And we now have a zero colony cost planet. So if we now go to Canberra, no, yes, Canberra, Here we are. Ah, so that's our one. Okay. 
So what other colonies do we have in Canberra then? So we have... Canberra Prime. Oh, wait, we're talking about Canberra Prime. Okay, so it's not two yet. How is it? Still too cold. And we have 0.1 atmosphere of safe greenhouse. So we're going to need a lot more than that. Uh, let's go for 0.25. There we go. Um, <clears throat> once we strip out some ammonia, we should be able to get the oxygen to a reasonable level as well, if it drops too low. <clears throat> okay. Um, order in mines and can, yeah, that's fine. Cool. We will keep on terraforming. All right, how many can we remove? And we don't want to go beyond the 24th. So if we believe the 23rd, we can put start putting those into the engine now. And we'll still get the far ultraviolet in this cycle. That way we're not wasting any research points either. There we go. Okay, so that is the, our far ultraviolet laser done. Uh, do we have any power guys that are better? Not even at all. That 60% bonus is just monstrous. Okay, so we've got all 30 labs working. So we're due on the in August to get that done. Um, let's see if we can get that compressed carbon armor out by then as well yes no but we still have the the um the actual engine tech to work through as well so might still be able to get it out in time um <clears throat> all right so we're due and halfway through august so we're in march june july august that's three months away Of time, half 20, almost 17 minutes. Yep. All right, salvage fleet has finished orders. Perfect. And we also have our beyond repair. <clears throat> All right, salvage fleet. So we will split you off again. We will. Refuel, then we will go to is it Rockham from the Newcastle? No, where's Newcastle? Newcastle is at Adelaide Way, okay. So Adelaide, Newcastle. And a three, and we will load research lab components. Then we will head back to Earth. Actually, if we so refuel Earth, then we have all populations. We'll want to go to Newcastle three, which is down here. There we go. Uh, we will load research of components automatically, and then we will uh, unload research lab components automatically. Cool. And if we cycle that, hopefully that should work fine. And we have the refuel as a first order, so it will refuel each between each way. Okay. Let's see if we can let's see if we can get those uh, ships out, or get those um, 
get those uh, labs over. Okay, we got a mine and an auto mine, that's fine. Uh, so we're in May, now we're in June, July, August, we're still a few months away. Yep. Oh, that's fine. Ah, fleet base has finished. Excellent. And we got infrastructure in Newcastle A3. So again, civilians are probably going to go and dump colonists in Newcastle A3. <clears throat> um, ooh, we got a bunch of stuff today. So Corundium on Earth is finally exhausted. We got one of our labs on Earth. Uh, wow, that builds quick. Really quick. Uh, so we'll put that into the Crest Carbon Armor. Uh, what do we get? We got an Ordnance Factory, a Grand Forces Training Facility, a Fuel Refinery, and an Automated Mine. So... Not a bad haul at the moment. Ooh, and another one, another automated mine on Newcastle 3. Yeah, this is a pretty nice haul. I like it. But we do need to organize our fleet to dock. Now, uh, carriers should never dock to anything. All right, if they're carrying fighters and you dock with them, those fighters will disappear into smoke. So carriers should never dock. Um, so shoal water is definitely not docking, but if we take our other military ships and we split them off, then we can go to, none of these are carriers, good, none of these are fighters either, perfect. Uh, we can go to PDC fleet and we can land them on fleet base. What's the tonnage on this? Hopefully it's low enough. We'll see. Land on fleet base. So if you have a look, we currently are spending uh, 1500, 1,500 gallocyte a year on maintenance and 700 uranium on maintenance. If I do a five second tick, bam, gone. So we are now only paying maintenance for the shoal water and the salamander, well, and the enterprise as well, but go figure. Um, so now we're only spending 232 maintenance on Gallocyte and 199 already um, uranium. This has substantially reduced our maintenance, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, weird, we're not even paying maintenance for Crete. Oh, no, that's classes, not in those ships. And if we do need to get them out, we just go to our PDC fleet on Earth, and there is fleet base. And all of our ships are docked. Oh, these are the these are Tobruk's um, fighters. I will actually split off fleet base. 
and I'm going to name it Fleet Base. There we go. Now, to, to, to detach them, we will, of course, need to use a different method because we can't do this. But I believe if we um, deploy, launch parasites should, might do it. Uh, launch for us, something might do it. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, these guys are now fully maintained and uh, organized for no minerals, which is perfect. 25 o'clock. We'll double check that. So, we will move along and go for our tech. So, August 2070 is what we're after. I'm just going to double check fleet base for maintenance. Hmm, it should maintain them. Yeah, no, it is maintaining. Good. <clears throat> Alright, and we have a lab on Earth that's free. Again, compressed carbon. All these extra labs are also going to put us a higher strain on our work base. So I think I'm going to shift Earth to accept colonists. There we go. Oh, good. Our first load of labs has been dropped off. So we'll put it, we'll start putting it to use. Um, a troop transport bay on Newcastle A3. Okay, so that's basically scrap. Oh, now I can use it for construction of further troop transports. Uh, and some mines in Cairns. No big deal there. We should get the reactor now. No, oh, something is interrupted. Yeah, it only did three days. Something keeps interrupting us. I'm, I, I think that we might have some contacts somewhere that are playing around with us. We'll have to wait and see because we are out of time. Um, so I'll wrap up the episode here, uh, put a break in. Another lab. There we go. Um, put a break in the episode, and um, this time, well, this time it actually looks good. So we'll go ahead and um, continue on tomorrow from where we left off, getting the uh, reactor and start to work on the drive. And I will see you all then. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, all the usual stuff. See ya.